Hi guys, Isha this side and today I am talking about is blank and count blank functions in DAX. What are these two functions? How they are different from each other? Some use cases in a data model and much more. So let's get started. To explain about these two functions, I have created an employee table. So as you can see on my screen, this table has just 10 rows. That is a list of only 10 employees and some respective details around the same. Let's first understand what is is blank. So first I'll see what's the explanation of is blank on Microsoft site. It says that is blank checks whether a value is blank and returns true or false. This is the syntax and the return value is boolean. So it will give us true if the value is blank, otherwise it will give us false. Now let's test this in our table. Let me insert a new column here. I'll name it is blank check. I'll use is blank function and for value, I'll give my column name. Let me name it uh, first with age. Say age, I can see there are two blank rows and I need to check what I'm getting as a result for is blank function. So if you see for this blank row, I'm getting true here and for the last ID also. So it's working fine. Basically, it gives us true if the value is blank and else the value will be false for this function. But there is one thing, this age is in numericals. What if my column is in text? Let's test, will it work there? Let me take it gender. I know there are three, four rows which are blank, but still I am getting false for these blank rows also. The point is, is blank will work only when you have values in your column and not for text or other data types. We can also test it say with ID and since there is no blank row in ID column, I'll get false for each and every row. This is one use case of is blank function in column. What if I want to check if I can use is blank in creating a measure also? Let's see that. I'll go to my report view, I'll insert a table. I'll take some say column values, ID, full name, age, maybe business unit department. Now from this table, I want to know the count of employees who have not filled their age. Then I can do so using is blank and calculate function. Let's see how. So I'll go to add a new measure. Let me name it as is blank measure. I'll say calculate expression would be count of employee name or IDs because that are the only two columns which are, which have no blank rows. So I can use either full name or ID. Rest my filter would be where say age is true means where age is blank. Give me the count of rows where age is blank using this function. I can calculate this. So as I can see, I have two blank rows and let's see what result I'm getting from this measure. So yes, in this table, there are two rows which have blank age values and I'm getting correct results. But interestingly, there is one more function that is count blank that can do exactly the same thing for you. Let's see what this count blank function is in Microsoft site. So I'll go to count blank. It says it counts the number of blank cells in a column and uh, uh, it returns a whole number. If no rows are found that meet the condition, blanks are returned. And there are further details around this, you can check it out. So let's test this function now, count blank. I'll add another measure. This time I'll name it as count blank measure. It's asking for column name and I can give reference of say age column here and uh, let's see if I'm getting the correct results as I know age column has two blank rows and yes using this measure also I'm getting two as my answer. Let's see if this uh, function will work for text columns also let me name it as department and department has one, two, 
three, three blank rows. So clearly it's working fine. Let's check if we give the name of any column which has no blank rows, then what result would I get? So I can say ID or full name because in my table, these are the two columns which have no blank rows. I'm getting blank as my answer. Depending upon your usability, you can use is blank and count blank functions. And I hope it is clear when to use what and the basic difference between these two. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope this is useful to you guys. Have a great day and bye.